Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today for the A Different Pretty um, channel, we, it was a bit of a wild card week so that we could do whatever we wanted. So I thought I'd show you how to make one of my favourite coffees, um, which is a caramel macchiato um, that you can order from Starbucks. And I'm using a lot of products from Starbucks so that you can make it at home, but I'm just showing you my version of how I do it. Um, it might be a bit jumpy this because I'm doing it on my laptop and in the kitchen where it's a bit of a terrible lighting um, but I'll show you as, what I'm doing as I'm going um, what you're going to need is um, in Starbucks they have the coffee via VR I'm not too sure what they are ready brew coffees and there's 12 sachets you need one sachet of that well only half sachet I use um, the Starbucks vanilla syrup and the Starbucks caramel flavoured drizzle sauce that's the main things that you're going to need and then I also got, uh, because it's really helpful for me, is this thing called an Aero Latte. Um, this is like from Amazon that I got it and you can get cheaper versions but I don't think they work as well and this one is actually quite good and it spins. So anyway, the first thing you're going to do is I'm um, going to need two cups as well and some milk obviously. So I've got my two cups. This is the one that um, I'm going to be drinking it from and it's this well cute little Ed Hardy mug that my boyfriend bought me. Um, so what I'm going to do with this mug, which has to be microwavable as well, is fill it up. This I'm using the same skim today but I usually use skim but I fancy treating myself. Fill it up halfway. You don't want it full because it's going to froth up a lot. So okay, so you leave that to the side for a second and um, you're going to want to boil your kettle and open the little sachet thingy and this is a bit annoying but you have to estimate about half into like a glass sort of section there we go and then with this this is going to be like a little coffee shop so I've boiled my kettle and I'm just going to fill it up a little bit just so it's about a shot sort of worth and I'm going to leave that to sort of brew for a bit and I'm just going to go put this in the microwave for two minutes and I'll be right back Right, so that's been in the microwave for two minutes and you can see it's steaming away there. And then what you're going to do, you want to better put this in. If you've not used one of these before and if you're watching this now, put it in the thing first. You can't turn it on and then put it on as you're going in because it goes boom, with <laughs> loads of milk everywhere, which I've made a mistake before and it wasn't that great because I had to clean up loads of stuff. So you put it in and then turn it on. Sorry and you can hear it sort of buzzing away and then just twirl it sort of like anti-clockwise um, try not to hit the edges because it ruins the little thing as well so then you start seeing it sort of turn a creamy milky frothiness and the longer you do it, like I think it gets to a consistency where it's not going to go any further but the longer you do it for, you can't just do it for like 10 seconds you have to give it a good whiz for a while and I might need to change my batteries in my thing soon because They've been in there for ages, and I'm not sure if it's going down or not, but, but anyway. Okay, so where I filled that up, sort of like nearly half full, it's practically full full now. I can't really show you that well, but that's it sort of like fuzzy just there. And you can sort of see on a spoon that it's like froth rather than milk. And then you're going to get, get your vanilla syrup. And um, this is more of a case of preference I don't like mine far too sweet because it makes me feel really ill so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do just about like a dash of it like that much and then I'm just gonna like, put my thingy back in just for a second to whiz it all the um cream and properly uh, the caramel in properly I'm lying it's vanilla it's not caramel <laughs> and then um just taste it just to check if it is the sweetness that you like so you don't have to add any sugar, actually I might just add a dash more. Oh, a dash turned into loads more, never mind. And then um, I'm just going to make like a little edge section bit there. And pour in my coffee shop, which sort of like nearly brings it to the top. I'm just going to whiz my spoon in there. And then um, this is the top caramel flavour drizzle sauce. And um, you can do pretty pint if you want, but I'm just going to blob it on as it waves. Do, 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 do. There we go. And um, there you go, that is your caramel macchiato. It doesn't take too long, although I'm going to have to quickly clean up before I start drinking my coffee, which is a bit irritating. But um, it's really delicious, and I reckon you should give it a go anyway. And it's pretty simple, and 
it works out so much cheaper than buying it in store every day. Um, and it's amazing that you can have a, mar um, a caramel macchiato at home rather than having to go to Starbucks. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my unusual little tutorial. It's the first sort of time I've done a foodie kind of tutorial. And um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to another, um, a different pretty and um, check out all our other videos. Anyway, see you later, guys.